this will be a really short video. I just wanted to outline the positive feedback or the kind of the downward cycle of congestive heart failure. The basic definition of heart failure is the heart cannot pump enough blood to the body's organs. Kind of, kind of habit actually of capitalization. It's just going to have a systemic effect, obviously, if you're not pumping enough blood. So everything's going to be affected. That's kind of one of the things I like to point out about congestive heart failure, or why I like to cover is because it's going to bring in the lungs, it's going to bring in every organ, it's going to obviously affect the heart, it can cause edema that affects the brain, it can cause imbalances that affect the brain. So basically it's a disorder that can bring in all the systems of the body. What's going to lead us here are anything from coronary disease, coronary artery disease. It could be a lot of things. High blood pressure. High blood pressure eventually will damage the heart. Um, valve diseases, valve disorders, heart defects. Anyway, that's a, a, a basic sampling. And these are all things that will lead, lead to congestive heart failure. It's going to start with uh, poor cardiac output. So the heart can't pump in one. This obviously means it's going to be difficult to adequately perfuse heart tissue. This is the cystic drones. This is going to weaken heart muscle, which is going to cause heart tissue to fail. This is obviously going to lead to poor cardiac output. So hopefully immediately you're seeing that this is a cyclic effect. One of the things that it's also going to do is cause an inability to create pressure in kidneys. And the kidneys need that pressure in order to create filtrate, in order to make sure that you get rid of fluid and in order to make sure you get rid of toxins. Toxins are unfiltered. Or it could just be ion buildup. You can't control your potassium concentration if you're not putting blood through the kidneys. It's going to cause it to be difficult to excrete fluid. So again, the kidneys need some pressure behind the glomerular filtration membrane in order to push fluid out. If there's not enough blood pressure, you won't be able to push fluid through the kidneys and you won't make urine. That fluid's going to back up and it's going to cause edema. That edema is going to damage heart muscle. It's going to cause heart tissue to fail and that's going to cause poor cardiac output. Now, it's a bit of an oversimplification, but I'm just trying to put down enough that you can see the cycle that's going to occur. But it's probably also important to bring in the lungs. The ability to perfuse the lungs. You can't get fluid into and out of the lungs. That's going to cause fluid to build up. And in advanced stages, you can hear the fluid in the lungs, and often people 
have to sleep sitting up in a chair because the fluid needs to drop to the bottom of their lungs so that they can so that they can get any kind of air into the lungs. Well, if there's fluid in the lungs, it's going to be hard to pick up oxygen. That means that even the fluid that does go through the lungs is not going to be able to pick up oxygen because there's fluid in the lungs and there's not a nice air blood interface. So the blood that does go through the lungs is not going to be very well oxygenated. That's going to weaken heart muscle, cause heart tissue to fail, and cause poor cardiac output. And so this is kind of a cycle of congestive heart failure. And it goes around and around.